Regular layout or carpet and vinyl roll goods assumes the same predefined roll length in that item specification for all needed rows in cut planning. In reality, flooring businesses may have same roll goods in stock with different roll lengths, even different die lots. Flora Summit Pro Commercial Edition has a feature to accommodate this in cut planning algorithm. The business rule is to ensure not putting cuts of different die lots on the same room area. To set up row allocation and die lot, go to the product ribbon. Under advanced tab, click on set row allocation command or right click over the item in project item list and select row allocation. At the pop-up window, all the row good items are listed on the left panel. Select one to set row allocation. Click add row button multiple times to add number of rows to be planned. Double click on cells to edit row length, row count, and die lot numbers. Die lot numbers can be any numbers. Same number means the same die lot. One entry must be checked as the default, meaning when the row is specified and there are not enough at planning, program uses its default row length and die lot as additional supply. After row allocation is set up properly, at the estimation stage, the specified row number, die lot number, and row length are anointed on cut sheet generated by the program. If row allocation is set up after the estimating, the project needs to be re-estimated.